laziness we must walk on it laziness kill procrastination from your life there are some things god has told you people to do god told you to sow a seed i will do it tomorrow god told you to get up and read on leadership i will do it tomorrow do it now do it immediately number three share the reason why many people become failures and become mediocre in life fear 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 of failure fear of being embarrassed not just failure but fear of repeated failure it's true that failure is embarrassing it's true that failure is lashing is ego stinging but it is in your failure that you find the door to true victory Please hear what I'm saying and take it seriously. Fear of being seen as a failure. Is that not what is responsible for our fake lives? Right? You go and borrow a shoe of 20,000 naira. And you wear and say, this shoe, 20,000 naira. Is it your own? No. Because you don't want to fail. People borrow phones. I beg, I just want to stroll to Ribadu. Can you help me with your phone? What for? You borrow watch, borrow clothes, borrow phone, borrow everything, borrow mindset, borrow everything. And in the end of it, you find out that there is no authentic life. I've told us again and again in Koinonia, stop trying to look successful. Pay the price and be successful. Pay the price. That's why we don't discriminate anybody here. I don't want to know who you are or who your father is in terms of maybe preference and all of that. I treat everybody with honor and dignity because I believe everybody can be everything if you get the word. Hallelujah. Fear of failure. Look at me. Why didn't you start the business? Failure made you to give a lot of excuses. Why didn't you go and apply for the job? I have not served. Do they take people who have not served? Did you go? Did you go? You see, Ba, look at me. Many of us write a lot of prayer requests. Next week now, there will be another one. I, I, you know, I kneel down to prayer and I see it. Some of you is full scam. You write it and then you write, uh, please turn over. That means it has not finished. Oh, there is still some more. But the issue is that, do you really believe that as the anointing comes on it, you will need to take action? You see why I've been teaching us on faith. Faith in one word is obedience. Action. I refuse fear. Is it because people will talk about you? Fail and see whether people won't talk about you. What you are running away from will come. Whether through the door of success or failure, it will still come. The greatest way to reply critics is massive success. Continue your results. Let the result keep speaking. You wrote jam. You didn't pass. So what? Why don't you write again? Are you hearing what I'm saying, please? Fear. Nigerians can fear. And many of us, that fear makes us to give ourselves excuses. I'm young. Please, there's time for everything. When is the time? I'm young. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child. I'm a child. Warren Buffett Warren Buffett the, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway one of the top three wealthiest people in the world he was asked a question that um, was the greatest mistake he made in his life and he said he started investing at a um, very late what is the late? 8 years old Eight years old, Sila. Think about what I just said. There are people to start training and building their children, they say it's too small. Do you know there are some of you? If you talk to your parents about finances as you are now, they'll say, What are you what are you talking about it for? It's it's an innocent mindset, but it's poisonous. So they tell you, Don't worry. Ah, why, why are you rushing? And then before you know it, you now have to face life by yourself and you make a lot of blunders. Say, I refuse fear. Say it, I refuse fear. There are two kinds of fear. Fear of trying 
and fear that comes as a result of the memory of your past failure. Some people have refused to get into relationships. The last one didn't work. Who said all would not work? You have made adjustments. I remember I went to minister somewhere and I gave a woman a word. I told her, I said, Madam, um, I see that something happened in your home, but I'm seeing you marrying again. Ma! No, please, oh, my children, it's okay. I said, ah, Madam, what is the issue? I'm just telling you what God is telling me. That a man is going to come, ask your hand in marriage, and you'll be gloriously said, say, me, marry a man. Me, men. Look at my children. Me, men. The woman was saying, I said, Madam, I'm a man. No, please, this one that you are talking about, men, I see, it's not every man that, everybody, blah, 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 blah. The woman started crying. I said, Madam, God is bringing a good, you know, okay, oh, you know how women talk. Okay, oh, let's see. Fear. Fear. That's what has stopped some of us from being champions. You are used to failing. The day you succeeded and they told you you succeeded, it's a lie. Don't play games with me. Don't you know that the divine life, part of the blessings of the divine life, is a life of success. No matter how you have failed in life, hear me, I want you to believe that you can come back alive. Are you hearing me? Say, I refuse to fear. Say it, I refuse to fear. See, there is a, there is an, let me, let me use this slang, there is an, I don't send mentality, you have to give life and give people if you want to make it. Some of us are too careful. What will, what will Zuera say now? What will mom, we are too careful. That, that, that excessive care is not, is not care unto faith, it's care unto doubt and it will kill you. There are people today who have refused to learn how to drive because of fear. What if I capsize in a gutter? They have refused to learn. There are others who have refused to learn how to do a lot of things. God gave you opportunity to learn so many things. There's tailoring now, professional tailoring. Somebody from UK just came and said, I want to train you. Guy, me, please. I don't want any insult. I've seen the way they insulted my madam. I, I, I don't want headache. You are ready to fail. If you think like that, you are going to fail. In the name of Jesus, I release upon you the spirit of courage. Courage! You have to face life with courage. Brothers and sisters, wake up. Stop giving excuses. And tell yourself, I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. It is a risk to do everything in life. The only guarantee you have is the word of God. Get up and in the name of Jesus, take steps. Refuse to fear. Koinonia, I'm preaching to you. Refuse to fear. Refuse to fear. Refuse it. I know you carried over the cross. Go back again. With courage. Fear has kept a lot of people down. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through fear of death have all their lifetime be subject to bondage. To pray for a sick person, fear. You're already stretching your hands. You are looking and say, ah, I'm only in welfare department. So let me not disgrace myself here. Fear. Lastly, one of the biggest reasons why many people become failures. Ignorance of kingdom principles that guarantee a life of success and impact. Ignorance of kingdom principles. Ignorance. This is, in my opinion, the biggest reason. Ignorance of kingdom principles that guarantee a life of success and impact. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written. You cannot observe what you do not know. He said, then, not before, not during, then shalt thou make thy ways prosperous and you shall have not any kind of success, good success. Ignorance. Look at me. I know we know that by now in Koinonia, that there are laws in the kingdom. Prosperity is not magic. It's not a wish. 
there are kingdom principles a life of influence you want to be a career of the glory and the power of god it's not a wish there are pathways to it you want to carry honor upon your life you can be blessed it doesn't mean you are honorable it says and Chabes was more honorable honor is a law in the spirit there is what brings honor you can be rich and not have honor you can be anointed and not have honor when honor comes on your life everybody knows that there is honor upon your life hallelujah longevity has a principle longevity influence has a principle and he said in matthew chapter 13 now i think verse 11 or so if i'm not mistaken he said it has been given unto you say it has been given unto me one more time it has been given unto me to know the mysteries of the kingdom everybody say the mysteries of the kingdom it is on the strength of those mysteries that you will enjoy dominion it is on the strength of those mysteries that you will do great and mighty things in life nobody will just come and bless you for nothing when during our series the mysteries of the kingdom i teach on the law of exchange and i told you nothing goes for nothing nothing goes for nothing there is an exchange that must happen hallelujah very important these are some of the reasons why people become failures in life and part of this is working in our lives one or two or more or for some of us even all of them we are going to challenge challenge the gates of failure and say in this season of the rain i'm breaking out no way i won't remain like that i won't park where my father parked and become a failure he leads me and guides me to the city of above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city of above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city of above he leads me Rise up on your feet and let's begin to pray. Bless the Lord for this word tonight. These are preparatory teachings for the series that is coming. I need to prepare us. I don't want to just waste the revelation that God has given me. Go ahead and prophesy. Lord, you are leading me. Day by day I keep rising. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. Pick up your notebook. You are going to read all those first prayer points, the five areas that you must focus on your spiritual life, financial life, family life career life relationship lift your voice and begin to prophesy on them one by one and say lord i must excel in every one of these areas go ahead and pray I excel in my spiritual life. I'm moving from one level of the anointing to another. One level of grace to the other. My relationship with Jesus is becoming stronger. 
I'm stronger. I'm on fire for God. I'm on fire. No lukewarmness in my life. No lukewarmness in my life. No religion in my life. Come on, pray. I'm on fire for God. Burning. Burning for the kingdom. Pray for your finances. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be broke. I refuse to be a beggar. I make up my mind that I am a blessing. I am a blessing, not a liability. I am a blessing. I reject poverty. I cut that spirit in my life. Pray. My home is a place of love, a place of blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm an exceptional father, an exceptional husband, an exceptional leader. Pray. An exceptional priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I gave you five reasons or four reasons why people become failures. Look, be sincere as we pray this prayer now. The media is helping us. You're going to see it here. When you see that there is any, any area that applies in your life through the ministry of prayer, uproot it. There are mindsets that you know must change. Attack them in the place of prayer. Don't feel condemned, but don't keep quiet. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I refuse a dependency mentality. I refuse a dependency mentality. I am a giver. I am a blessing, not a liability. Koinonia pray. I refuse to give excuse for failure. I refuse to excuse failure. I refuse to explain failure in my life. Pray, 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 pray. Inside and outside, pray. Pray. This is a prophetic moment. This is about your destiny. Pray. Pray against the spirit of laziness. I refuse to be lazy from today. I kill laziness, procrastination. I cut it from my life. Prompt obedience. Prompt obedience. Pray. Pray against the spirit of fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love of power and of a sound mind. 